Hello everyone, it's me Chebby from Enec Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to use Adobe Photoshop as scanner software in any Windows computer. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, before proceeding, firstly, connect your scanner device with your Windows computer or a printer which has a scanning feature. Just connect your device with your Windows computer firstly. So I have already connected my scanner device with my Windows computer. So after that you need to have a uh, Adobe Photoshop installed on your Windows computer. So if you have not installed Adobe Photoshop then you download and install it from its official website. And after that what you need to do just open or run the Adobe Photoshop. So here I'm using the Adobe Photoshop 7. You can use any end of Photoshop, the newer or the older version also. The procedure will remain the same. So, right now, what you need to do, you can see here on the left top corner file, right? Just click on it. Now, under the file option, just head over to import. Now, you can see. Now, under the import option, you will get a tons of options here right now. So, you can see here my scanning device or my printer which is a scanning feature that is the name as option is already detected if it is not detected don't worry you can choose the last option also just click on here now when you choose this WIA support you can choose the destination folder where you want to save you can change the location also where you want to save I'll just give it in desktop you can choose your destination folder where you want to save the scan file. You can keep the rest option as it is. And now you can see your start. Just click on it. Now you can see below uh, one uh, something blinking below. Now it is asking to select your respective scanning device. So in my case, I have this option L380 series. So it's already detected. Now click on OK. Now again it's blinking below and you can see in the text bar. Just now you can choose the different selections like color pictures, grayscale, black and white, custom selections. You can also adjust the quality of the scanned pictures by clicking on here. You can control the brightness. You can control the contrast even you can change the DPI of the resolutions. When the picture type, you can change it to from color to grayscale or black and white, whatever you want. So I will keep it as it is, just for example. Now, on the right side, you can see some scanning page options. When you can resize this page by just dragging the this corner icons, you can just drag. If the picture is small in size, you can just drag or you can keep it as it is. So once your every settings is done, you can see here below scan or if you want to preview also you can just preview before scanning you can just click on preview if you want to check how it the picture will look like so wait for a few seconds until it's showing you a preview how it will look after being scanned So you can see here, it's already showing you the preview. You can just crop also before the final scanning so that you don't have any white borders. So I've already selected the file. If you select this kind of selections or if you do a cropping of your respective pictures that you want to scan, then it will much better since it will not leave any white areas if you just crop it before the final scan now once you are done you can just click on scan now this will be a final scanning so you can see below it's processing it's almost completed just wait for a few more seconds so finally you can see here the scan file you can see here so 
if there is a ro rotation required then you can just go to this image and you can see your rotate campus if it is on the upward directions or downward directions or it is not in the proper rotation size then you can just go to this image and select this canvas options you can rotate 180 90 and degree you can just flip canvas horizontal and verticals so you can just rotate and resize and if you want to crop then you can just select this cropping tool and just select the crop where you want to crop and you can just rotate also the cropping so you can do some basic edit if it's not perfectly cropped you can just rotate also once you are done you can see your tick mark just click on ok now it will get saved to the desktop where you have choose the final location so let us check here so this is the folder where I have set so you can see here the scan file is set on the respective locations where you have selected earlier so in this way you can use any Adobe Photoshop as scanner software in any Windows computer so if you never known how to use Adobe Photoshop as scanner software in any Windows computer then definitely you should try it out so if you find this video tutorial useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching